Tonight, in response to a vow made to the Virgin, many of these young villagers will attempt to cross the blazing coals. The day-long festivities of St. John's Day are filled with both Christian and pre-Christian symbolism. Headdresses of bread in the shape of trees remind some anthropologists of the summer solstice fertility rites of pagan Europe. These ancient rites also included the building of bonfires and leaping through the flames. With the coming of Christianity to Spain, the name of the solstice celebration here was changed to St. John's Day. Fire walking occurs nowhere else in Europe except the Basque provinces of Spain and France and in the mountains of Macedonia in Greece. And then it is night. The fire can now be made ready. Enthusiastic crowds pour into the plaza. Excitement and anticipation fill the night air. The fire bed is now searingly hot, in excess of a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, five times the heat necessary to boil water. No one knows who will be the first to walk. Once he is chosen, a sense of danger, expectancy, grips onlookers and fire walkers alike. His success raises the spirits of those who will follow, though each faces the same danger. The Spanish firewalkers believe that the extra weight of a rider helps ensure success. But these deeply religious people firmly believe it is faith that actually protects them. If intense belief does induce a state of self-hypnosis, it is possible that this could bring about physiological changes and prevent burning. But there are those who believe the real answer lies in an even more mysterious realm of the human mind. India, land of ancient mysticism. It is to Eastern thought that many feel we must turn to solve the mystery how man can walk on fire. In yoga, we can very definitely experience the existence of what we call the energy body. Ganja White is director of the Los Angeles Center for Yoga. He has achieved the title Yogi Raj, King of Yogis, and has personally walked the fire. not just this physical body. Uh, there are subtler and subtler energy forms animating the body, both physiologically speaking and psychically speaking. And these, the uh, energy body itself uh, corresponds actually physically to the shape of the physical body. And when walking on fire, what happens is this energy projects itself beyond the physical body or perhaps an inch, creating sort of an insulating effect between the body and the hot 
uh, burning hot coals. And this protects one from injury. A special technique called Kirlian photography has enabled some investigators to photograph this energy, which is invisible to the naked eye. The aura or glow surrounding the finger is believed to be formed by the energy emitted from the body. Although the naked eye may be unable to see the energy, it is believed its powers can be easily demonstrated. Using two fingers each, the four people are unable to lift the 200-pound man. But according to yogic theory, this placement of the hands will awaken the energy bodies of all five people and bring them into alignment like a magnet, thereby increasing strength. Quickly, 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 now lift. <laughs> that was the best yeah. one. That was really good. Wow. Was I know there's no trick involved. It works. How exactly it works is something we'll discover as we develop these uh, new sciences. While Western scientists search for answers with special cameras, the Hindu firewalkers are satisfied that the true answer lies in faith. If one has sufficient faith in the god or goddess, one will be protected from burning. To the island of Bali in Indonesia, many elements of Hindu religion were brought by early migrants from India. In India, this man might be called a yogi. Here he is called a shaman, a priest. Many similarities exist between fire walking here and in India except for the coconut husks, which replace wood as the source of the fire. When illness strikes, the shaman will use his special powers to exorcise the disease from the village. This centuries-old rite requires that the shaman go into a deep trance. <laughs> trance states are a vital part of Balinese culture and religion. A whole repertoire of animal trances exists. In this ritual, the shaman carries a symbolic horse. The Balinese believe that the entranced man has literally become the horse. His own soul has temporarily left his body to be replaced by the soul of the horse. has made a vow to the Hindu fire god Brahma. Only if he fulfills his vow to stamp out each blazing coal without being burned will the ritual be a success. Although after a time his feet become blackened from the charcoal, he remains totally unharmed.